When was the last time you lost your patience? On the road? At work? Or at home? Our busy lives make it difficult for us to be patient. But to enjoy life, we need patience more than ever, even if it's being tested. But what does patience really mean? Does it mean we just passively wait for something to change? And how can patience affect our daily life? The 2023 Exercise Patience Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses will show you what true patience is, why we need it, and how it can improve our relationships with others. God wants you to be happy. And as our Creator, He knows that exercising patience is vital. Imagine if the Jehovah Witness religion was true, then Jehovah would be helping them and Satan would be helping, helping me. But you know, the mythology isn't true, so the only people I have to help me is you. And that's very good because you can come to a protest, you don't have to bring a sign, you can bring a white or green or a blue t-shirt. So we kind of look alike. And then our message is, hashtag all religions must, all religions must respect human rights. When I started talking about that Jehovah Witnesses in Norway could lose their government funding, all the other apostates were making fun of me. And most of them actually said that Jehovah Witnesses are not getting any government funding. <laughs> but now they lost it. So we're working within the legislation and Norway have a great constitution. So we don't have to invent the wheel again. And now another country that do have a constitution is the United States of America. And I'd say to you that if we do this correctly, Jehovah Witnesses might lose their government funding or tax exemption in the United States of America. The Jehovah Witness Convention 2023 is called Exercise Patience. And if there's anyone that need to learn how to exercise patience, it would be this worldly woman. It's my wife. She's worldly. Worldly. And the only way for me to get her to the ex Jehovah Witness Convention, so she can learn how to exercise patience, is to pretend to be an apostate. So we will protest in Malmö, Sweden, Hillerud, Denmark, and there will be two protests in London outside Excel. So this is me inside. I had to go inside because I lost my patience with all the noise. We have the goats, we had wind, and then the Norwegian army started a military exercise with all the jet plane, probably because they know I'm Swedish. So they were flying above me here. So I had to go inside. But we will have four protests this year. And we're not protesting against the Jehovah Witnesses. We're protesting pro the Jehovah Witnesses. We're protesting against the people that violate the rights of Jehovah Witnesses, aka Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin and the governing body of Jehovah Witnesses. Because hashtag all religions must, all religions must respect human rights. Because as it is now, they get government funding in various countries and they can just behave like any criminal organization. They just say, we believe in something invisible and they get money handed to them, including the United States of America, which is for now is a tax haven for Jehovah Witnesses. And I don't want Jehovah Witnesses to lose the government funding. I want Jehovah Witnesses to start treating children with respect. So if they lose the governing funding, it's because they don't live up to the high standard of what they refer to as Satan's system. But what does patience really mean? Does it mean we just passively wait for something to change? And how can patience affect our daily life? The 2023 Exercise Patience Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses will show you what true patience is, why we need it, and how it can improve our relationships with others. God wants you to be happy. 
And as our Creator, He knows that exercising patience is vital. You don't have to bring your own sign if you come to the protest, because we have a concept that worked really well before. We have the blue sign, the green sign, and the white sign, hashtag all religions must. And we ask the protesters to wear a white t-shirt, a blue t-shirt, or a green t-shirt. So we're keeping it simple and stupid, but it has a good effect. However, my dream is to get hand of some of the tall signs like this from this web page. I already bought one of the poles, but I would lay, need two more poles and three flags. And I would like a flag like this. It's just a big heart that says there's support if you want to leave. So it costs some money. So if you would like to help me, you're welcome to do that. You can use PayPal or if you contact me you can, and you want to buy one of these poles yourself and I can give you the shipping address because I already bought tickets and plane and hotel for four protests. It takes a lot of time for a poor goat farmer, but we are on a roll and we can change and make a better world for the children. Because when we grew up in a cult, that means that we know things that politicians never can understand. So when we're not bitter and we're not angry and we can explain this to them, we're basically making doing them a favor. There's a lot of ex-Jehovah Witnesses that will say that you should not protest against a convention because blah 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 and you will only enforce the stereotype of blah 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 and the people that say blah 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 have one thing in common they never tried it themselves but i've done this many times and we had very good success and sometimes young people contact us if they can manage to do it like in an elevator or when they meet us and no people are around and they say thank you for being here <laughs> and well, as a grown-up it seems like a little thing but remember when you were a teenager and you felt trapped and if your parents are Jehovah Witnesses they use something called positive peer pressure when they try to pressure you to do something you don't want it's called positive because watchtower think it's positive and they will baptize children all the way down to six years of age and they will refer to baptism as a verbal contract with Watchtower. Well, children cannot sign a contract, so it's not valid. Now the point. Children don't know that. If you force a child to sign a contract with Watchtower and Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses are not baptized to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are baptized to the Father, the Son, and the whole organization. They have to answer yes twice. Children don't know that this is an unvalid contract. While Watchtower is enforcing the contract with what is Norway, in Norwegian is referred to as negative social control. They will use soft shunning. They will say that this child is an atheist and therefore a bad association. While you're not allowed to have contact with people outside the congregation or very limited. That is blackmail. When you enforce a contract that's not legal to begin with against a child, that's blackmail. So that's what we're focusing on. How Watchtower violate the right of a child. Norway is a land of opportunity, so anyone can start a company and anyone can pay taxes. But if you say that we have a non-charity and therefore we should get government funding and not pay taxes, well, then you should be held to a higher standard. And the same thing in America, there's something called the Johnson Amendment. And the Johnson Amendment is that you cannot get tax exemption as a religion if you tell people how to vote because people should have the right to decide for themselves how to vote. Or you can start a company that pay taxes, that has a job to tell people how to vote, like an in-use agency, I suppose. 
But Jehovah Witnesses, they tell people to get baptized after positive peer pressure, and then they say that these people have made a decision by the age of childhood, all the way down to six, to never exercise their civil right again. When you enforce a contract that's not legal to begin with against a child, that's blackmail. So that's what we're focusing on. How Watchtower violate the right of a child. A child have the right, not the opportunity in best case scenario, children have the right to seek out information and they also have the right to be encouraged to seek out information. And if there's a Jehovah Witness watching this video now, please answer true on this question. Leave me a comment below. Are Jehovah Witnesses children encouraged to seek out information? If you use peer pressure to enforce a child's opinion about God and want him to be baptized, which is then enforced as a verbal contract, is the child given the opportunity or is he encouraged to look up web pages like jwfact.org.com? If I would have been given correct information about evolution or geology, that's a big thing for me, geology. If I would have given, been given correct information about geology, I would never have been baptized. So on one of those big flags, I think we should have jwfacts.com because if a child wants to go and check everything that former members said about Jehovah Witnesses and then still want to be a Jehovah Witness, that's a good thing. That means a child is making a choice after having the opportunity to investigate without being shunned as bad association for doing the investigation that is guaranteed that he has the right to do in Norwegian legislation. So Watchtower is violating the rights of the children. If children then grow up and say, I don't want to be a goat farming apostate, I want to go to Bethel. That's his choice. But they w I should get the information. So I would really like if you could, would help me to get some of the big signs. That would be so much fun. If you would come to the protest in Malmö or Denmark or London, you can buy a beer to my worldly woman and she will be happy because I put a lot of work into this. I basically have to scale down work on the farm and in my business to do the lobbying. So, if you can support me on Patreon or PayPal or any way you would like to do, leave a comment, like, share the video. We can have so much fun this year with the protest. I was planning in 2020 to have 12 hashtag all religions must protest. And I put a lot of work into that. But then Hillary Clinton invented the coronavirus. But the joke's on her because I got the vaccine with the microchip now. So now we're back to protesting. And the only problem with the vaccine is that I get a headache close to the microwave. But I hope to see you in Malmö, Hilleved, Denmark or London. And we will have so much fun. And thanks to my patrons. See you in paradise.